What's going on guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be going over GTA 5 Online's weekly update for this week on December 23rd. It started the 22nd and will reset in seven days. Usually it's a whole week long. You'll have these money making methods and sales available to you guys. But with the recent KO Perico heist update, there's a lot of weird things going on. Usually this update happens on Thursday, but it happened on Monday and I was unaware of this. So that's why I'm a day late. Plus I had to work. So I have a lot of stuff going on so hopefully this video will help you guys catch up on the sales and the money making methods for this week so first things first we have this week's podium vehicle which is the tyrus supercar the progen tyrus is a og supercar in the game it's one of my favorite vehicles in the game just because it looks a little bit old school but still is like sporty and super fast and it's hard to get shot from behind so take a chance at spinning the wheel to win this week's podium vehicle and that will bring us to other supercars that will be on sale this week which includes the comet sr which is six hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars then we have the pegasus tempest which is on sale for seven hundred and ninety seven thousand dollars which is a good deal for the sports car and then lastly we have the ocelot penetrator which is five hundred and twenty six thousand dollars then we have the night shark at the war stock a classic vehicle to buy and it's on sale for two hundred fifty thousand for prime gaming members so if you aren't a prime gaming member i'll leave a link to that in the description box below then we have the blazer aqua which is on sale as well and then the rocket voltic which is a classic gta 5 specialty vehicle and lastly for vehicle sales we have the briso 300 i don't know if i said that right but it's for sale for free this week as well as they dropped the dinka vito or veto modern which looks a lot better than the classic i'm really glad that they released this because i wanted to make a cool little cart and that's definitely it and then for the big sales of this week we have the dynasty 8 executive ceo offices they are all on sale this week guys for 40 percent off plus all of their upgrades so i do recommend if you don't have a ceo office you go ahead and buy this one the maze bank west is the cheapest and the one i recommend for beginners but if you have a little extra cash laying around go ahead and check out the maze bank tower the biggest and most expensive one it's a cool location and it just is kind of a flex but the gun locker the safe the accommodations all of that is 40 percent off as well so you guys should pick up these upgrades if you don't already have a gun locker just know the nightclub does already come with a gun locker so if you have a nightclub already you don't need to purchase this but again the safe and the accommodations is just nice to have so for this week they actually have this money making method for two times money called in and out and it's in the adversary mode so pretty much if you press start go to online then go to jobs then go to rockstar created jobs and then go to adversary you'll find in and out in that playlist and this is two times money and pretty much you have two teams you guys are collecting cases and trying to bring them back to your checkpoint kind of like capture the flag but there's multiple flags and and then once they're captured they're captured that enemy team can't take them back and you pretty much sit here and try to neutralize the targets and get the cases team with the most cases by the end of the round wins or team to collect eight cases first wins now i do want to say there was other two times money making methods out there but unfortunately they got removed so this was the last one remaining and i got paid twenty seven thousand dollars to complete that which isn't bad so we ended up making around ten thousand dollars per round one so honestly it's not that great of a money making method especially with the new heist and stuff going on i really don't recommend it but it is fun if you are a try hard and have a group of friends to play with definitely something to um, check out for this week if you haven't played it definitely give it a shot at least once so next up we have the time trial of the week and that is the Tongva Valley time trial now I'm not gonna lie it is snowing in this current time of this video but in this time trial it wasn't snowing because I used an older clip so I do want to say it is a little bit harder with the snow I just want to keep that out there it's doable with the snow but I didn't have time to put this video together and do the time trial for you guys fresh I will eventually release that video but just I didn't have time so I do want to say this is the path I still recommend you guys take and I'm gonna give you guys a few tips so first things first when you're going down this mountain you do not want to be going full throttle you will crash and fall off your bike most of the time and when you do hit up in the air you want to pull back on your left thumbstick and land on that back tire okay and then instead of taking the shortcut to the right we're just gonna actually make our way down the street um, just because with the snow especially you will fall off your bike almost every time guaranteed jumping off that unless you land it perfectly and then pretty much you're just gonna wheelie and the reason why we wheelie is to increase our 
acceleration and you only have a minute to do this so you really need to be at top speed at all times just keep that in mind it's fairly simple you have 58 seconds to complete this I completed it in 57.9 seconds and rewarding me with a hundred thousand dollars again guys start halfway in halfway out of the circle make sure you have snacks on you because if you fall off that bike and have to restart the time trial by holding Y or triangle you want to be able to heal up yourself so have full stacks and then you guys will have a good chance of completing this time trial I used the baddie 801 fully upgraded to complete this time trial just want to put that out there if you guys have a faster vehicle I highly recommend you use a supercar and then go ahead and actually just take the normal path and you guys will make a hundred thousand dollars this can only be completed once I do want to stress that to you guys once you beat the par time you will be rewarded the hundred thousand dollars but once you beat that if you try to beat it again you will not be rewarded a hundred thousand dollars it's a one-time beat part-time reward so hopefully this video helps you guys save some money in GTA 5 and make some money in GTA 5 if you like the video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching